Welcome back to Our Jest. Today's question is leak code 190 reverse bits. So all this question is asking is for us to reverse bits of a given 32 bits unsigned integer. So as you can see in example one, we have this 32 bit integer and we need to reverse it to give us this output. And we will be using bit manipulation for this. So we have this 32 bit integer and we need to reverse it. And usually with bit manipulation, we always look at the least significant bit, which is a good place to start because just like reversing a string, with this, we're going to be taking this and adding it to the front. And we'll do that for each one until all the bits are reversed. So how can we tell whether this bit right here is a zero or a one? Well, if we compare zero and one or zero and zero, what operator is always going to give us these values? Well, it's going to be the AND operator. So if we compare zero and one, we will always get one. If we compare zero and zero, we always get zero. So using the AND operator, we can easily find the least significant bit. So step one, find the least significant bit. Step two, now that we have the least significant bit, we need to reverse it, right? We need to add it to the front here. And what operator do we know that will shift that zero to this position over here? That would be the left shift, right? So we could use left shift, but how many are we gonna shift it by? Well, for this first one, when we're looping through this string, we want to add it to the first position, right? So we're going to shift it by 31 because it's a 32 bit unsigned integer, but we also want to subtract i. And the reason for this is, so if we move this to the front, when we move to this bit, we want to add this here. We don't want to be adding it to the front. So we need to subtract i from this because i is going to be incremented and then that will allow us to reverse these bits correctly. So step two, left shift. So now that we've shifted this the significant bit to the front, we need to create a result from this, right? So if we initially set our result to say zero, when we shift this bit over, what operator do we know that can compare to this and always give zero? Likewise, if we had a one here, what operator would we use to return us with a one here? Well, we could use the or, right? So zero or zero is going to give us zero. Zero or one is going to give us one. So for step three, we're going to update the result. And the result is going to equal result or the value of two. So the value of this. Actually, what we'll do is we'll call this x and we'll update this to x. So this will update result. And the last thing we need to do for is we still have this last bit here, the least significant bit. We need to remove this, right? So that we can get this as our next least significant bit. So the simplest way of doing this is just to shift right. If we shift the least significant bit, it'll remove it from this 32 bit integer. And then we can just repeat this process, right? And time complexity for this one is going to be a one and space is also a one. So let's code this out. Let's declare result, set it to equal zero. Then we loop through the 32 bit integer. So it's going to be i equal to zero, i is less than 32, i plus plus. We need to get the last bit. And we said that the operator we'd use is the AND operator. Then we need to reverse that bit and we can store it in the variable. Let's call it rev bit. So it'll be last bit, left shift 31 minus i, so that we reverse it in the correct order. And then we need to update result, right? So result is going to be equal to result. And we're going to use the pipe, so the OR operator, and we're going to OR the red bit. Then lastly, we need to remove that least significant bit, so we need to shift right. And one thing I forgot to mention in the code is that we need to convert the result to an unsigned 32-bit integer. And in order to do that, we're going to shift right, and we are going to return this. Let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.